All right, Shalom. First and foremost of all, praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Akakwadash. The Bible of the Apostle knows a great millstorm teaching us the warm saint truth according to the Bible rule well and peace and blessings so for like the nation of Israel take their spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim, Shai. We'll get into the Lord's willing, edifying lesson on blowing the trumpet. You know, I'm going to look at this definition up for trumpet. You know, it says trumpet. Um, let me see. It says a uh, bow, so now the trumpet. Um, it says make a loud pending. No, uh, uh, penetra- make a loud penetrating sound. You know, so this this sound that we're making, you know, is, is the words of Yahweh by Shema Shai, and it's supposed to penetrate you. You know, the scriptures talk about how the word, the Most High, is quick and powerful. You know, and sharper than any two-edged two-edged sword. You know, this word, you know, is supposed to penetrate your mind. You see, you're supposed to hear these words, and you're supposed to turn back and repent. You know, you're supposed to turn back. Uh, to Yahweh by Shema Shai, when you hear the harsh judgment and warning, you know, that is going forth through his servants of prophets of war, evil, and the pestilence that started with the apostles and others, the great millstone that we've been warning you about for 30 plus years. You know, and now we're in that time, you know, when these things are, are beginning to come to pass. This is uh, Joel 2 and 1, blow you the trumpet in Zion. So a trumpet, which is a loud playing instrument, we are blowing that. In Zion, you see, uh, on to you Israelites, you see, it says, Blow you the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. We're sounding that alarm, you know, warning the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you know, to, to, to wake up, you know, repent, come back to what the truth is because you don't have all that, you don't have. You know, as much time as you think you do. You know, the time is short. You know, the days are evil. Here, they're talking about the Karagma, you know, the M O T C the B, the M A R K, right? All in the news. You know. You know, there's alternative media sites, you see? It says, Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, you know. So our people, when they hear of the famine that's coming, when they hear of you know the uh, uh, the disease warfare that's coming. You see how Esau Edom wants to put this uh, M A R K inside of you. You know, brand you as cattle and cut you off society if you don't comply. You know that he's a sword, the heavenly father. You know that he's about to br- uh, come down having great wrath because he know that he have but a short time. You you should be trembling. When you hear that America is going to be destroyed in World War Three by ICM, ICBM nuclear destruction, and you're in America, that should make you tremble. For the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand. The day of Yah by Shemal Shai is coming. It's it's nigh. You know, it's very near. You know, to come upon the world. You know, we're in that time. You know, and and, and the Yah by Shemal Shai has commanded us to give you that warning to blow the trumpet. Isaiah 58 and 1, cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet. So our voices are like unto trumpets, and we should be lifting up our voices with the words of Yahweh by Shema Shai. Like it tells you in Ezekiel 3 and 4, go and speak on, go and speak on the children of Israel and warn them with my words. You see, so we're warning you with the words of Yahweh by Shema Shai. We're prophesying unto you. We're telling you things that are going to happen before they happen. It says, cry aloud spare not you know we're not here to spare your feelings we're here to tell you the whole truth you know because the truth can be harsh you know you know it's a very hard pill to swallow when you hear that in your lifetime your sweet beloved america and everything you work for is going to be gone you know it's a hard pill to swallow to to, to hear that if you don't uh repent that you're gonna die you see that's a hard pill for a lot of our people to swallow you know they want to hear you know they have itching ears they want to hear smooth things you know but here it is the lord's command us to spare not lift up thy voice like a trumpet a trumpet is a very loud uh playing instrument you know that penetrating sound you know it's supposed to be very loud and 
you know that's what we are doing by making videos you know we're we're, the, we're 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 proclaiming very loudly you know to the whole world we're getting we're getting the word around that Yahweh Shema Shah, the God of Abraham Isaac and Jacob you know is about to come back you know he's Yahweh Yahweh the heavenly father is about to send his only begotten son back you see it says and show my people their transgressions my, that you know the the my people you know, the Israelites showing them their transgression, showing them where they're trespassing in the laws of Yahweh by Shema where where they are where they are offending in the scriptures. You know, eating shrimp, pork, crab, lobster. You know, committing adultery. You know, if you're if you're a man, you know you commit adultery by sleeping with a woman who has a man. And if you're a woman, you commit adultery by sleeping with uh with anyone else other than your man. You see. It says, and show my people their transgression in the house of Jacob's and their sins. And what is sin? Sins is transgressions of the laws of Yahweh by Shema and Shai. And, and we're warning you of these things. We're blowing that trumpet, telling you that if, uh, like, like Yahweh Shai said, at least you repent, you shall all likewise perish. You know, at least you repent, you know, become that new creature, become, you know, born again you know you have to understand what that means to be born again you know you're gonna die in your sins you know because the wages of sin is death you know this is uh amos three and six shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people be not afraid shall 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 a trumpet be blown in the city you know a trumpet is supposed to be is blown to get people's attention you know it's an alarm you know, and, and the alarms of war are going off. You know, let me get that in numbers. You know, this is the reason why we blow the trumpets. This is, um, you know, this is this is one reason why we would blow the trumpets in Israel. This is, um, numbers 10 and 9. And if you go to war in your land against the enemy that oppresses you, and we are going to war, you know, uh, uh you know, this is a spiritual war. You know, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but might through the Most High to tearing down a stronghold. Our, our main force, our main weapon is this truth, pulling down a stronghold. The strongholds that the wicked elites of society have on the, on the people and their minds are the lies that they have, you know, pushed. You see, it says... And if you go to war in your land against the enemy that oppressed of you, and Esau Edom, you know, is oppressing us, the children of Israel, and really the whole world. But this story is about the Israelites. And they, it says, Then ye shall blow an alarm with the trumpets. You see? It says, Then shall ye blow an alarm with the trumpets. And ye shall be remembered before the Lord your power, and ye shall be saved from your enemies. You know, so this is, you know, we're blowing the trumpet, you know, to, to declare that war is happening, you know. But we're blowing the trumpet also, why? So we can uh, be saved from our enemies, you know. And if you don't got the Lord on your side, then you have a, you have a reason to fear. Because your enemy is going to be able to take advantage of you, you know, through your... Uh, uh, through your ignorance you not knowing that he's your enemy you see this is uh, Amos 3 and 6 shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people be not afraid shall there be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it evil you know bad times you know shall there be bad times in the city and Yahweh Shema Shai has not done it you know that's a question Truly, it's the Lord that is doing these things. Truly, it's Yah by Shema Shai that will bring the bad times. You know, and here it is. We'll warn you about it. You know, so you can uh, uh, prepare yourself, so you can get ready. You know, so you can, um, you know, so you can uh, prepare your mind. So, yeah. This is the uh, First Corinthians chapter uh, uh, fourteen, verse seven. It says, and even things without life sound, uh, and even things without life giving sound, whether piped or harped, except they give a distinction in the sounds, 
how shall it be known what is piped our heart? You know, so here it is. You know, it says, For if the trumpet give an uncertain sound, who shall prepare himself to the battle? You know, so the trumpet, you know, that we are blowing, we're making sure we're giving that certain sound so our people may prepare themselves to the battle. Lord's willing with that, you're edified. I'm saying, Shalom.